Here's how to set the travel and force limits for your LiftMaster jack shaft opener. Your travel limits are what adjust the height of the door at the top or the bottom. And the force limits are how hard the opener is gonna pull the door up or how hard it's gonna push it down. Setting these limits is really easy and we'll start by opening the cover. You're gonna see that there's an up arrow, a down arrow, and a black rectangular button. To set the travel limits, we're gonna press and hold the rectangular black button. That's gonna make the up arrow flash and we're gonna press and hold this button until the door comes up to our desired height. So you can just hold on to that. And you can push this button as much as you want up and down, just little increments at a time. So if you go up a little too high, you go, oh, that's too high. I'm gonna press the down arrow, bring it down just a little more, bring it down just a little more. Now, typically, you want your door to be about level or just a little bit above this header right here so you can get the maximum clearance for your vehicle to get in. So that looks pretty good to me. Once the door is at the desired height, we're gonna press the square rectangle button again. It's gonna make the down arrow flash and now we're gonna press and hold this until the door gets to the bottom where we want it to be. So press and hold it. That looks good because there's a nice tight seal at the bottom but it's not too tight. Now that the down travel limit is where we want it to be, we're gonna press the square rectangle button again. And don't let this alarm you, it's gonna start beeping because once you push this button, it's automatically going to adjust the force limits on its own. So I'm gonna press it. It'll start beeping. What it's gonna do is now it's just adjusting how hard it has to pull the door up and push the door down. This is all normal. It feels like you've done something wrong, but trust me, you have. So adjust the door down. It'll beep a little. And once all the lights turn off, now you know it's been programmed. And that's it. Your travel and force limits are set. If you have any other problems with your garage door or garage door opener, please contact us today. We can help.